Okay, so this is part three of my tutorial on how to set up and use your RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi. In the last video, I covered transferring ROMs over USB. In this video, we will be transferring ROMs using network. Now this is where we can transfer a lot of ROMs at one time and big ROMs. I will show you how to put BIOSes and ROMs using your network on your computer. First thing to note is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Now you need to be online, the same exact network as the computer that you want to transfer your ROMs from. So I'm going to open up RetroPie here. I'm going to scroll down till I see show IP. Now my IP for my Raspberry Pi is listed at the top. It says your IP is 192-168-10-108. Make note, take note, write this down. If we cannot get into the Raspberry Pi, the first way I'm going to show you, you are going to need your IP address to get into your Raspberry Pi from your computer. We are going to back out of here, take note of your IP address, and I am going to go back to the computer now and show you how to transfer ROMs over network. All right, so let's transfer some ROMs over the network. I hope you remembered that IP address just in case we need it. If you didn't, go back, write it down, snap a picture of the screen, anything just to remember it. Most important thing to know is that your computer and your Raspberry Pi need to be on the same network. If you're on Wi-Fi, they need to be on the same network. If you're on Ethernet, they need to be on the same network. Let's start here. From Windows, we're going to open up a file explorer. We're going to go to our network tab. Now my computer already sees my RetroPie, so I could click on this and I am in my RetroPie now over network. I can start transferring things. But if your computer does not show RetroPie, go to the top here and type in forward slash forward slash RetroPie, all capital, and press enter. Go to the explore, go to the search bar up top, type in backslash, backslash, retro, pi, all capital, and press enter. Now you are in your Raspberry Pi. If that didn't work, the other way you can do it is using your IP address. So from the search bar up top here, we're going to type in backslash backslash. My IP address will be different from yours. And that's why I asked you to remember your IP. Now my IP address is 192-168-10-108. And you will press enter on your keyboard. And you are now in your retro pie. From here, we can start loading our ROMs. Looks just like the USB trick I showed you. We can load our BIOSes. We can load a new splash screen if you would like. And you can configure any emulator. So if you want to go into here, we can go into RetroArt Config and configure all sorts, the screen resolution to your controller. But today we are just focusing on loading BIOS and ROMs. I'm going to open up my ROMs folder here. Now I have a PlayStation 1 BIOS. All we're going to do is drag it and drop it into our BIOS folder folder on the RetroPie over network. Now you can see it didn't work. I need to open it. 
Oh, it did work. There we are. Back. So I have my BIOS, PlayStation 1 BIOS here. All I'm going to do is open up my BIOS folder. This is within the RetroPie over network. Take my BIOS and drop it right in there. I'm going to go back and find my Dreamcast BIOS. And your Dreamcast needs a DC underscore boot dot bin and a DC underscore flash dot bin. This is set up the same way you set up the Android version. Drag and drop. Now we have a PlayStation 1 and a Dreamcast BIOS loaded onto the Raspberry Pi. So to transfer ROMs over network, super simple. Open up your ROMs folder, find the correct emulator folder inside of here. As you can see, we have many to choose from, but I want to load a PlayStation 1 game. I'm going to open up my PlayStation 1 ROMs folder. Now we are on network within the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to grab a, let's see here, Bloody Roar. I'm just going to drag them over here. Now Bloody Roar was a 539 megabyte file. You cannot transfer that over USB. You need to use the network storage method. So depending on your speed of your network, and all things considered, it can take a little while to transfer. I'm going to fast forward this. So I now have a PlayStation 1 game in my ROMs PSX folder on my Raspberry Pi. And I also placed my BIOS in BIOS. Let's transfer a few more ROMs. Now this works with all of the emulators here. So if I want to place, let's say another Dreamcast game, we'll just go to find your Dreamcast games and Power Stone 2, drag and drop. So it'll take a second to transfer. So we now have a Dreamcast game on our SD card. Back, back, and we will do this one more time. So my Raspberry Pi, my PC are on the same network. I'm gonna go open up a file browser. Go to the top here, backslash, backslash, all capital, RetroPi. And if that doesn't work, backslash, backslash, your IP address. We're going to go back to the Raspberry Pi now and we should have PlayStation and a Dreamcast game that we can play right now. Now that we're back at the Raspberry Pi, we need to reboot one time so our system knows that we just installed a couple new ROMs. So we'll press start, quit, Yes. Now when we scroll through here, we should see our PlayStation symbol, which is here. We have a Bloody Roar game that we installed. And when we go to our Dreamcast, we should have our Dreamcast game here. And we do. Now we have the BIOS for Dreamcast and the BIOS for PlayStation. We are now ready to play some PlayStation games and some Dreamcast games. So that's it for transferring ROMs to your Raspberry Pi using RetroPi over network. If this helped you out at all, hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming guys. This is part of a big tutorial of videos that I'm doing on the Raspberry Pi. Next video, I am going to show you how to set up a Bluetooth PlayStation 3 controller. Thanks for watching.